All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today is going to be a different Pokey Rogue ep episode. We are going to be going over how to get shinies in Pokey Rogue and what is the best method of currently doing it. So, first of all, let's go over what shinies I recently got and how it's increased our accounts, like, look overall. So, as you can see here, we've got quite a few. So, we've got, as you can see my cursor, we've got Charmander, Rattata, Ekans, Oddish, Pikachu, Machop, Poliwag, Grimer, and Magikarp. That's from Kanto. In Johto, we've got Pichu, Hoppip, um, Slugma, Corsler. I don't think this one's changed that much. Then we've got Taylo, Ninkada, Slackoff. <laughs> we've got so many in Hoenn, it's unreal. Um, so we have a really good one. Obviously, we've got a blue Ninkada, which turns into two. That is a really good one to do in like Classic and just to get more luck in general on your endless runs. In Sinnoh, we've got Piplet, Burmy, Shellos, uh, Baneri, Bronzong, uh, Bronzor, sorry, and then Hippopotas. Oh, and uh, Snova. We did actually get a Victini. Which is on the wrong. Vitini should be here. Should be in five. This is zero 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 on the deck, so it should be here. Not on the national decks, on the black and white deck, so that's in the wrong place. But it's fine. It is what it is. Um, then in Gen Five we got Blitzel, Timber, um, uh, Basculin. We've got Time Pole, we've got Timo. So we do have a lot of shinies and I'll go through how I've got all mine because it's been kind of insane how quickly we've been getting shinies. Um, so we've got Taylo, Furfru, Clauncher. Um, no big ones here yet, if I'm honest. Then in this one, the ones we need to look at potentially is the Vulpix. That's a cool one. I think that's it from this region. Oh, we've got Litten as well. That's also a pretty big one. I'd love to get a Cartana. That would be insane. Um, in Gen 8, there is one that we got, and that is Reggie Drago. Now, Reggie Drago, I've already reduced the cost of. So, it's or it's only a look one, unfortunately. But it is shiny, so shiny legendary is always cool. Um, and the rest aren't too big. Um, they're just kind of there and then in gen 9 so we have our uh, Lechonk who does have a ribbon and um, we've got a red shiny which is one of the ones I'm insanely happy with we are trying to get unaware at the minute so it can't Pokemon can't eat berries but to be honest with the berry decrease recently it's not that big of a deal um, and then we've got Frigibacks as well, which I do need to take into a classic run and get some egg tickets from. But, so far, this is what we've got on our account. And I think my account is a lot more stacked than when we last checked, especially with the red shiny. So, how have I been getting so many shinies? And what can you guys do to increase your shiny chances moving forward? So, as you can see, I do have a Mega Charizard X here. Um... In my run, so as you can see, I've got loads of items. That's not the one we want to look at. The main ones you want to do is Shiny Charm, IV Scanner if you want to get good IVs for the shinies you're going for. You want as much money as you can, so Amulet Coin. And you can go for the Ability Charm. It's not been that prominent for me, if I'm honest. And Lock Capsule is vital. So I'm not going to go through the Egg Gotcha system and things like that. I got my red shiny from there, but I've opened how many eggs now is it to get my first uh, stats? So we have hatched 1,000 eggs, which is nearly as much as how many Pokemon we've actually caught, and we've only just got our first red shiny. So I'm not gonna say go through there unless there's a three times event or an increased shiny event. So with this having four shiny charms. It increases your chance so much. Like, I was getting one every 10 fights, near enough, um, a few rounds ago. Now, what this basically does for you is it makes it incredibly easy to find. But once you get to a point where you've got four shiny charms, nothing else really matters. 
So you can just basically use your money to get master levels. I've got, I think it's 20. Um, let's just go through this. I don't need defog. Car boss is cool. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at my, see I've got 19 master balls and I've used so many on this run. Now, another thing you need to remember is luck. So obviously, the more luck you have, the more chances you encounter a shiny or a legendary Pokemon. Now, this is only a recent update. It was in a poll on the Discord chat. So, it was voted for by the players, which is why I've currently got an S look. If we look at my party, I have my main mom, which is Primal Kyogre slash Zekrom. I've got Tinker Tarnas to take down Eternatus, and then the rest of them are shiny merges. Um, I can't merge Mega Charizard with anyone unless I get rid of my Tyranitar, basically. So it's not going to go anywhere, it's going to stick like this, but I have got an S look, so it's not too bad. But remember, with S, you are... It will gain as you get further in this run. So when you have the four shiny charms, as soon as you get your first shiny, you want to add it to a Pokemon that you're not really bothered about in your party. And then you want to do the next one after that and then get a DNA Spices and then merge them together. It keeps double the luck, so always worth doing that. Um, once you've done that, you're near enough set to go. You will find so many shinies doing this. Um, as you saw my account, my account's pretty stacked with them at the moment. Um, and it's kind of insane how many we've been getting. I'm trying to show you how easy it is, but I'm actually not finding any, which is hilarious. Another thing as well, you want to be looking at how many rare candies you give your Pokemon. So, if you look at my current rare candy count, it's 42 right now one of the big things with that is your Pokemon are obviously going to gain a lot more levels with a rare candy or a rarer candy which does it across the lot if you can get that up to around 60 that's your entire level so you are in no rush to do anything after that um, what we want to do is cover here yeah and we kill, obviously we did lose them on there, but we have got 402 billion, so it's not too bad. Like I said, I've got 19 Master Balls. I'm in no rush to do anything but just do um, rare candies at the minute. So what we can do, though, is move our eggs across. This is another thing you want to try and do, is get your eggs up to at least like 99. That way, you will get a full thing in one go, and then it doesn't matter. Um... So let's carry on with this and see if we can get a shiny before the 15 minute mark. That's when I'm going to end this video. Um, you definitely need a Fairy Steel to take down Eternus. Eternus. I'm in 2000 and I've not encountered a single hit yet. So that is a good one. We did have a merged um, Eternus uh, Max in 2000. But we got through it really easily anyway. So definitely bring a Fairy Steel type. Now, I did start this run potentially before an update where it had a better moveset or has got a better moveset now. So, always, always keep an eye on that. Hey, a black balloon. So, this mess for it, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Thunderbolt the black balloon and I'm going to false swipe the mess for it. Now, the reason we're doing the false swiping on the mess for it is to flinch. I thought we would have done so much better there. Thunderbolt and Gigaton Hammer. Yeah, we might have. It might be a case that we have to do that. Obviously, Mesprit isn't the best Pokemon ever, but it's a legendary. We don't need to keep 19 Master Balls, right? But this is how easy it is when you've got S Luck to get to a blue. and then, uh, Sorry, a red. And then we're in the Master Tier. And there you go, we got our Master Ball back. And it took none of our money. That's how good getting your shiny charms are early. So I know everyone goes for a Master Ball early on. 
But if you can swap your Master Ball, like, because Shiny Charms are in the Master Tier, if you can not go for a Master Ball and try and push yourself to a Shiny Charm, you will get better luck overall on your run. But there you go, we're, we're on 46, right? Uh, I'm going to keep going until we get a Master Ball there. But we get 11 billion from one Relic Gold. And we used, what? One, about 5% of that just to get a Master Ball. Which is just insane. So this run, I'm hoping it goes on for a, a long time. Because this is my shiny, shiny chance. Um, but obviously we have a lot of Master Balls too. When you can get a lot of Master Balls, it becomes obviously less prominent to have them. So I, every shiny I find, I Master Ball. Obviously, if it's a duo battle, a bit different. I have to take down the other one first. But, Master Ball it every time. The le unless you find a Zashin, which obviously we know is broken on this game. What I would always go for is the... Ooh, why are we doing so little? That's interesting. Sorry, that's my, my, my brain just going overboard there. Um, yeah, you want to get your luck up before going for Master Balls. So if you can get your luck up first, always a big plus. So what do we need? We need not really much. Red can do. Uh, wide lens, potentially. We've got three on you. We've got one on you. Okay, well, we'll just use the one on you. Ooh. Okay. You may think this is actually um, something probably not worth doing, but this Keldeo is definitely worth doing because it's got the second form, basically. Why didn't we... Okay, we might be in a bit of a bind there. Right, Charizard, so Dragon Claw. Dragon Dance and Gigaton Hammer. This should kill, right? It didn't. Okay. So we are going to Meteor Mash and then Covet. Wow, never mind. Right, okay. We've, we've caught the Keldeo, which is what I want because it's got a form change. Um, obviously, the form does not matter. The form does nothing to Keldeo. It's just nice to have. Because I did have one in a previous run. The game lagged out of its server. And then that caused me to lose that form in the, in the first place. So I'm happy I've got one now. Um, once again, though, it is just... Water Spout kills everything. Unless they endure, you're in a, such a good spot with a Kyogre. Um, let's try and get a rare candy. But once again, we're in the red. So we just got 12 billion plus the percentage from the amulet coins. So there was no issues there whatsoever. So I'm really happy with that. Oh, we've got it again. I'm going to take the egg voucher. Um, I want to try and get a few more eggs. Especially a Manaphy. Because I feel like you're not going to find a Manaphy in the wild. Because of the egg you can get from the egg gotcha. So definitely is a thing I'll be doing. Is keeping these eggs until we get something good. In the gotcha to be able to go for. Um, but I'm going to end this video here. I know I haven't had a shiny and I do apologize for that. But this is the best way I found of getting a shiny. So let me know what your guys thoughts are on this down below. Obviously if you've got more shinies through this method as well. Definitely put a comment in as always good to let the community know that this idea has worked. Um, like the video, comment and subscribe to the channel. And I'll speak to you all in the next one.